Send this doctrine fight by FTP, not only by email. And we can also select ITN number. If the customer wants to see the ITN number in their subject line, we can profile that one. So very, very customizable. You can include any reference numbers that you wish to have or not. Oh, okay, next. And this gets to your question, Patrick, about having the ability to look up and see what was sent. You can, you can also profile these to have yourself in it. So you can, you know, everybody's wanting, for a while, you want to put yourself on there to make sure that it's working as desired. So we can do that. But there's a history. Okay, so if I want to see what was sent out for Cleveland, last Friday. And there's all the alerts, the EDS notification that was sent out. And we can extract them, download them into a CSV or Excel. It's an instantaneous download. With this, you know, when you get back to your office, walk to EDS and you can see what's going on with Cleveland. You can download their, their transmission. So this is just a notification ID, name, branch. And here's the email recipients. And all the other metadata. Origin destination. And back to the search. The other thing is, is we can set them up in, in, in Cadia. It, there's no role in Cadia, there's only a partner ID. Mm -hmm. So you that's why you can't profile what documents to send to, to each party. So we've got shipper. Consignee, we can type a bill to ID. So if we bill to a freight payment company, CP Logistics, for example, we can maybe set up a notification to transmit our export invoices to CP Logistics by FTP. It's like a, a, a form of form of ADI. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. How soon? I don't know. We're going to try to get Atlanta Road out in early October. And we need perhaps JFK after that. And then we're trying to learn as we go along because it's such a big change. But get your people to start thinking about saving those export invoices, those invoices you get from the customer ahead of time. The next question is save them where? That's, that's the thing. Clear my inbox. Like, I, I should we have in, should we have a file in the, your P drive that's called commercial invoices, customers' documents? Do you set up subfolders for month? Mm -hmm. I I don't have the answers. I, I, I well, we want to give as much direction as possible, you know, because you you don't have to have, keep them stored in your P drive. All you want is a, a temporary storage place that when you first receive them by email, you have them stored somewhere. So you can later right. upload by using the browse feature or drop and drag into your PDS. Because you've got two hundred of these using drop and drag. Well, unless I'm reading it wrong, I think the, I think the most common denominator they all include is having a household associated with everything. So yeah, that's, that's, right. that's your first because that's that's what that's our go-to. That's okay. That's part of the process. I agree. But uh, but my point is. Canada. Do we, yeah, some of them we can't. We that, have that storage, do we rely on every user just to store, temporarily store that PDF on their desktop so they can later use drop and drive? Or do we put it in the P drive and have someone make sure that the proper ones are uploaded into the EDS? Right. Well, that might be the key for us. 
Because if you save it without a house bill number, there's a larger risk that you're going to select the wrong, wrong thing. Document. That's yeah. Yes. That's why I say our, our number one go-to in the in our company is house bill. Right. right. That's what we all look for. And, and keep in mind too, for those that are the proponent of the scan sheet, that's fine. Like Jerry said, whichever way you want to upload your documents. But at what point are you breaking down your file and making copies? Because as Jeff said, like if you keep in mind the airway bill. These house, these master bills have to be issued before the cutoff time. Mm -hmm. And most offices get their shipments entered and they do the breakdown after the fact. Yeah. So you have to make sure if you're using the scan sheet that you have those documents scanned before the master bills issued and the freight leave. So you can use either method that you choose. You, it's still the order of operations. You're going to have to do your scanning a lot earlier than you may do it now right. in order to make sure the attachments are in UDS before that house bill is issued. We have some that don't even send us the paper copy if we proceed to break because they want that the check in details. Mm -hmm. Some of them do. Okay. And we don't want people to delay issuing the master bill because that could then affect your. your yeah, we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you re if you issue that already, can you um, be open and reissue again? What 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 no. are you saying? It will. Well, it would re-trigger, but you, that's not really something that you would want. It's like you said, if the, the airlines already started their process. You mean reissue for your yeah. FW or for your FHO or for the? Let's just say, you know, we issued it for some reason. It's already issued, but we haven't uploaded the document. If we reopen the master and it upload it and then reissue it, whatever. Um, well, it would send a, another notification to the customer. So they would get one with just the house bill and no attachment. And then if you opened it and did it again, then they would get a duplicate with the house bill and the attachment. So. Yes. We close the console. Five houses. Issue master. Yeah. 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 The car is about to leave the office, yeah. and then the consumer will go. Hold this house. We need to go back. Open the master. Pull out the house. And reissue. Like it will be duplicate. Well, for all other for. And to South America and Central America, it's almost a daily issue. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to tell you that we are waiting for a license. Please hold it. And we have everything ready for you. This is other uh, South and Central America phone stuff. We have the consolidation, five house elements, ready to roll. So I'm about to leave, and then, hey, hold this house. You need to go back, open up the master, pull out the house, and reissue the master. It will be duplicate for the four houses that are gone. Yeah, yeah, and it happens almost once a week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that happens at other places too. Yeah, it does. No like especially if they can do so yeah, jot that down. We gotta test it. We can test it in LQ. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if reissue. We need to pull this back. Mm -hmm. we, like, we gave you the wrong product. Right. We have to test. Is it, the in, is it the initial issue that sends it? And if you reopen an issue again, will it re-trigger the notification all over again to everyone in there? Yeah. Like if not, for a revise, maybe. Well, that's, there is a list. I have got a, a, a blind list of, of uh, enhancements that Japan's working on, and revise is one of the issues. So if something is resent, they want to have a stamp. Just like an O2 invoice. Yes, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Like an O2 invoice. Yeah. Revise, so the subject line might be revised. For so they know that disregard, yeah, the, disregard first the first thing. Yeah. But that's a good point, point of Yeah, I don't have the yeah, answer. It has a live picture, though. Yeah, a little pull something after everything's already been done. Right. Mm -hmm. Jerry, that's, Dave and I were just talking about that from the E Airway Bill side. Yeah. You know, once, once you issue that master within minutes, that data's gone out. 
So if you go in and open it, make some change, if they've already accepted it or rejected it, as far as they're concerned, they're done. Right. If you if you reissue, they don't receive that new data. What are they retrigger? You got. So I'm saying, if, if, when you issue, we'll send it out again, but they don't get it. Don't if you have to, if you have to open and make a change, you need to contact them and say, I've made this change, for them to go manually update. Because once once yeah. it goes out that first time, as far as the arrow goes concerned, they're finished. They're done. Yeah. So you have to. Yeah. Good, good point. You know, with the note, your system's, system's going to reject that second one. They're going to say, I already got it. I don't need it again. So you have to tell them. Yes. To override. Yeah, they, they can manually update it and That's send the point. information on to China or wherever it's going, but you have to ask them to do that. They won't know to do that otherwise. Yeah, that's happened a couple, half the JFK, and they pulled the shit up because yeah. of our credit issue, but yeah. Yeah, we haven't that issue because we have to send the actual hard copy as of now. So yeah. the handling agent is receiving the correct one at, at the end. So, okay. An issue that the customer way bill issue is the, the trigger to send the notification out. I don't know if you mentioned, but you can, like for gateway shipments, that was a question that Cleveland had, yes. where they pulled over Chicago, but sometimes it's three, four, five days before Chicago confirms or issues yes. that master. Yes. So and, and shippers want that preload on Thursday, not on Saturday night. Right. <laughs> so they can individually issue that house bill without the rest of the console, you know, Cleveland can issue that house bill just to trigger the pre-alert. But then when Chicago issues that master, you will duplicate. does it, that's another test we want to do, does it also re-trigger that notification a second time? Sorry. So tomorrow we sit down and test that. While you're still here. Yes, I will. Because Chicago's going to be the big, big nut on mm -hmm. there. But it was good to have Dan and Janelle here, younger people who want to use the upload. You're no, uh, you're experienced. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a, you know, it's going to be a battle between it is. It, you know people who want to use technology and, and, and don't want to print documents. So we're going to be like, you know, we're killing so many trees. <laughs> I mean, they don't have bad habits yet. That's why yeah, they're right. yeah. and, and do all But they're so young and willing to learn new. Things. That's, yeah. that's the cool We're so much older, I got all these bad habits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But think about it. So, so, so we can transmit the master manifest of the airline electronically. Now we can transmit the house bill and external documents to the destination. Destination sees this. There's, I didn't, I didn't do this. But there's the shared documents that. If we're issuing this up in Singapore, Singapore can go in here and go view our master, our house, and the external documents. So we got the technology today to say we don't have to do consolidation talkers anymore. We upload everything, and destination can go in here and go get it. The only people who can't go get it is uh, agents. But we receive emails from destination, China and Asia, asking us for a copy of master air review and house air review. And the the airline is in Waverly. Ask them for a copy. Yeah, right. Or go to no, US and go find it yourself because they can see it. Our own yeah. office. Yeah, we. I, you know, that's a, that's a weakness of the company. It's a, it's a company weakness. We don't promote what functions that we have and let everyone. Yeah. Check the milestone. Yeah. Yeah. Should sales? Should operations? Should IT? IT develops tools for us, but who who's supposed to you promote it? That's what we're trying to do here yeah. at, at this session. Right. No one else is doing it, so we have to, we don't have a training department, so that operations is trying to do it. But good, it's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Or there should be some kind of you know, on the global item. We should have a global internet. The whole contestant group. And then we do have one. It's called Global INET, but it's terribly slow. Yeah. And you know, and that's where all these new functions should be promoted. Like and so so yeah, so China can go on the UDS. They don't should have to ask you for anything. It's not that right. Yeah. Or or that, right? Or or we can educate them. Here's the link, yeah, go get it. That's pretty good. No. No. <laughs> and, and I don't, yeah, what's the storage capability? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because I'll get like little thick files of uh, health certificates mm -hmm. for like, the B items. 
Yeah. They were in Colombia 400 single sex. Mm -hmm. Imagine not having the scandals through KD anymore. Mm -hmm. Uploading. JFK, Mike Resnick is a big proponent. He, he says, he says, I want to stop that long line. Yeah, JFK, he said, at the end of the day, I got a long line of people standing at the scanner with their Katie doctor in the scanner. Yeah. And you know, when I showed him this upload, oh, that's it. He says, what about drop and drag? He's the one, I think, right? Yeah, I think he's Mike the one Resnick that asked for it. He mm -hmm. said, you should have a way to drop and drag. Said, yeah, that's a good idea. And Japan had it developed in, in a couple weeks. It was mm -hmm. quick. For the Dropbox, for the export uh, node, yes. when you're filing an SCD and you choose the wrong license, and it says, mom, you cannot use this one. Why don't you do the same with the export? So there's no way to choose the, the wrong one. For the attachment? Yes. It doesn't know because it's a PDF. It doesn't know what you're doing. Right. So you're basically telling it what to A PDF is a PDF. Yeah, because you're the one giving file but, uh But you bring up a good point. Because I don't like the way I don't. What I would like, I, would, I don't want any to default. Just blank, yeah. Just have, have to select. Make the user select it. Remember how years ago with AES, we used to have C33 default, mm -hmm. uh, and that was dead dangerous because we had an export license C33 defaulted, and no one changed it, and we would transmit uh, information. bad information to customs. So we said, remove C33, force the user to select it, to enter it. So that's what we should probably do here. Stop. That's another thing. Okay. Yeah. Because we talked about that this other day. Because that uh, plant again, a plant code. Yeah. ATT just defaults. It should be blank. Good thing nobody here from Atlanta. They're getting kicked out. There, no. <laughs> there, this is. It's it's it takes a took Ron a long time. Cause Ron kept on saying. Ron wanted to keep on scanning. He says, "Why didn't scan any documents?" I said, "You don't have to scan. You know, get that out of your mind. Unless you want to use this form to." You don't need scan to trigger for alert. And there's other, and Stephanie mentioned, there's other ways besides master bill issue. Master bill issue is what we normally have to do, and that's what all doctors do get off of it. But you can individually house and issue a house bill, which is something we don't do today, but it allows you to do so. And there's a third way, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my confusion. That takes us to. Wait, Thank you. Wait, wait. Bob's, Bob's coming in 1115. Right. Oh, 1115. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, you, you mentioned something about, so if in a, uh, you receive the commercial invoices and the SLI is mixed in it, like the, you mentioned how we were going to, you might show us how to take it out. And then, yeah, take it out. Sorry. Because, no, oh, like, that's like that's you see, your 400 invoices, I don't know, like, with LifeTech, we'll get 169 invoices, mm -hmm. and within there, they'll have the, the SLI. Yeah, yeah that's part of the like attachment. This. Here's yeah. one. Well, it's, it's, it's simple. There is software to do a split and a merge PDF. I think uh, but IT department, it is a, it's free. It's a free. Yeah, don't try to download it. But they didn't, because of IT security, IT department doesn't want us to use any such thing. So they said, for now, just use, just, just do the print the PDF. And say two to seven. Oh. And then save that file with your right, house bill right, right. number. Yeah. Whatever so basically, you're just you're saving a new file without the SLI. Wow. You said we have a big trick or anything. But if it's page three of the seven. Then you're gonna have to do two seconds, right? Because oh. generally, it, like with throwing pictures, they send us pieces of weight, right. like, yeah. two, yeah. three pages, yes. then the SLI, yeah. and then followed by the invoice. Wow. So, wow. So that's so so you have to say yeah. two pages. Still, it's your first page. Or ask your customer. Or ask them. Ask them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good luck. They're the customer, but you know. Right. Jerry, what about like certificate of origin? Because some of the certificate of origin is that we have these, um, you can get a third party.